MLB best bets today. I got three MLB picks for you guys. Two of them are plus money. One of them is not, but all three of them are mathematically profitable that I found using OddsJam, making sure that we got some value on these plays. So again, three of my favorite MLB picks for today. We're talking Wednesday, May 3rd. Can't believe we're already three days into May. So let's get right into it. The first play that we're going to go ahead and lock in here is Pirates first half run line plus a half plus 134 odds at FanDuel. So this play was found using OddsJam using the positive expected value page. Now there are a couple different tools that I use to find profitable bets, but the easiest one is obviously going to be the positive EV page because literally every single play on here is going to be mathematically profitable. And what you want to look at are these no big odds that you see here. Literally every single play on the positive EV page, you see their odds under no big odds, right? So the way that these work and why this tool is so powerful is because the OddsDM no big odds are pulled from the sharpest sports books in the world, the sports books that consistently do the best job at pricing odds, tracked, proven to be considered quote unquote sharp, and then are pulled into these odds here using a weighted average. So we see for this specific play, the Novig odds price this at plus 130. Well, we locked it in on FanDuel at plus 134. So there's that like four cent gap between these two numbers. And that's where your profitability comes into play. Now, I don't just blindly hammer every single play on the EV page. Yes, every single one is mathematically profitable. But what I like to do is a little bit more digging to make sure that I'm placing the best of the best. And what I mean by that is I like to click into a play, literally over, hover over where your mouse is blue, click the button, and it pulls up the screen we see here, which is odds from every book that is pricing this. Now, theoretically, if it's positive EV, it should be an outlier, right? And that's what we're looking for. Are the odds of the bet I'm placing truly an outlier compared to every other book? especially the sharp ones. That's what we care the most about, the sharp sports books. Pinnacle, generally regarded as the sharpest sports book in the world. Circa Vegas. Some people say it's sharper than Pinnacle, regardless, very, very sharp sports book. Pinnacle has this at plus 121. Circa has this at plus 120. That seems good in theory, right? It's 14, 13 cents better than the odds that FanDuel is giving us. But if you're ever unsure, and I get a lot of questions, completely fair, very good questions. Okay, well, how do I know if an outlier is good enough or not? Like, how do I know if this is a good enough outlier? Well, there's even more digging you can do from there. What you wanna do is click view event page, open it up in a new tab, and it pulls up the screen that we see here, which is basically just the entire market of the market we're betting, like literally every single play from minus three and a half down to minus three and a half for the other team. So what you wanna do is this button right here, show no vig odds it does exactly what it sounds like you click this button and it removes the vig from both sides of the line so you want to find the bet that you placed which we locked in plus 134 right pittsburgh pirates plus a half and compare those to the no vig odds of all of these sharp sports books so we just see on the far right here pinnacle no vig line plus 129 circa no vig line plus 128 even another sharp sports book not as good as these two but still sharp has this at plus 133. So all three of the sharp sports books price their odds below the odds that we got it at. Another way of saying this is we are getting a higher payout than what the no big line is on all three of the sharp sports books. That's a great bet. That is exactly, exactly what you are looking for. Now, I'm not telling you that this play is a lock. I'm not guaranteeing that this play is going to hit. But what I am saying is that if you place enough profitable bets such as this, then you will be profitable in the long run. Sure, there's going to be some variance. That happens. That's just the nature of the beast. At the end of the day, the games still need to be played. But these are the types of plays that you should look for and types of plays that will be profitable in the long run. So play number one, Pirates versus Rays. Pirates first half run line, plus a half, plus 134 odds at FanDuel. Next up, we got a first half money line play. This is the non-plus money banger on the Seattle Mariners first half money line, minus 150 at FanDuel. I'll place bets that are minus 150. I'll place bets that are plus 150, as long as they're good. That's really all I look for. Now, this seems good, right? Odds Jam Perfect Line prices this at minus 152. We got it at minus 150. We see Circa, 16 cents higher, minus 166. Another sharp sportsbook, 
up to minus 170. Seems good. Let's find out and confirm if it's good or not. View event page, open it up in a new tab. It pulls up the screen we see here. Click show no big odds. Guess what? Circa Vegas minus 154, minus 157. We got it at minus 150. Yes, those odds are a little bit steep at minus 150, but at the end of the day, the individual odds themselves don't matter. What matters are the odds compared to the Sharp Sportsbook. So yeah, we liked plus 134 because it was a good play. We also like minus 150 because it's a good play. Um, so this is my second pick for today's video, Seattle Mariners first half money line at minus 150 at FanDuel. The last play that we are going to go ahead and lock in here, I actually found on the arbitrage page. So arbitrage is when you can bet both sides of the same exact market, just like the opposite over and under, over and under, both teams to cover, whatever it may be. But the odds between both of the sides are at such a discrepancy that you can literally bet both sides and guarantee to be profitable, which sounds like a scam, but it's not. You can literally bet both sides, right? Plus 170, minus 169. You, you bet both sides, there's no scenario in which you lose money. But when there is an arbitrage opportunity and the odds are so misaligned between two sports books, generally one of those books is going to be misaligned compared to like the entire market, right? Basically saying, this is probably another example of a positive expected value play, but you need to do a little bit more digging than normal and confirm whether that's the case or not. So the play that we locked in that I do really like, Baltimore Orioles minus two and a half plus 170 at Bet Rivers. Let's compare the Bet Rivers line again to the Sharp Sportsbooks. Pinnacle at plus 152, Circa at plus 160. Now, is this a good enough outlier? Are we really sure that Circa at 10 cents lower is truly an outlier? Does it beat the Novig line? Well, let's find out. If you're ever unsure, view event page, open it up in a new tab, go to the top, just click show no big odds, scroll to your play. We locked in Orioles minus two and a half plus 170. And we see right here, Circa has this at plus 169. So it is better than the odds that we placed ever so slightly. But at the end of the day, that's really all that matters is that we're getting some value. So this is my third and final play for this video. Orioles minus two and a half plus 170 at Bet Rivers. And that's it. So three plays total, two plus money bangers, three really, really sharp, mathematically profitable bets for you guys to lock in. And that's it. So if you're tailing, comment and let me know. Other than that, remember, like, subscribe, hit me up at my Twitter handle that you've seen on the screen here. Thanks for watching and have a good one. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Below are all of my different social medias where I post picks and plays daily. Make sure to hit me up there. Also, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel as I'm constantly putting out new videos to learn how to make money sports betting. And that's it. So thanks for watching and have a good one.